on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I turned my 1950s bedroom into something more modern. So if you wanna see how this transformation came to be, then just keep watching. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys what the bedroom looked like before we did anything to it. As you can see, we have wood paneling going halfway up the walls all around the bedroom, the entire bedroom. And so I wanted to do something to make it look a little bit brighter, but not getting rid of the actual wood. So again, here's a picture of what the bedroom looked like before we got started. I began by taping the entire bedroom ceiling with um, just my painter's tape so that way I got a clean edge whenever I went ahead and painted my actual walls. Now, after doing this, I went ahead and removed this wooden decorative piece above my windowsill. I wasn't a fan of it, something that was really popular back in the 50s when this house was built, but um, I was not planning on keeping it. I felt like the house or the bedroom looked a lot more open once I removed it, so I'm glad that I chose to. This is what the bedroom looked like without the actual window decorative piece and with the entire ceiling taped up. As you can see here, I began to paint with a really dark color. Uh, I wanted something really dark in contrast to the wood because I was going to be painting the wood a lot lighter. Um, this color is Cracked Pepper from Bear in a satin finish. show you guys where we're at so the walls are good to go as you can see I took off all the tape from up there and I'm I have it hanging on the walls and stuff because I'm gonna use it for my floor um, for like all the quarter round and stuff so that I don't get paint on the edge of the quarter round on the floor I knew the wood paneling was something that I wanted to keep in this bedroom so I decided to go ahead and keep it and treat it like a piece of wood furniture. So I cleaned it up with just some warm water and soap. Once I was completely done with cleaning it all up, this is the caulking that I used to fill in between each groove of the panels. Did this between each panel and allowed it to dry for at least a couple of hours before moving forward. As you guys can see, I'm using the Kills Primer to prime my walls, and I'm applying that with just a foam roller as well as a brush to get in between each groove. guys are enjoying this transformation so far don't forget to give this video a thumbs up For my 
my pink color, I'm using Bare Marquee in the color Ultra Pure White in a semi-gloss finish. Once all of my painting was done, I was ready to start removing my bed out of the room. I didn't choose to do this before painting or remodeling or doing anything to the bedroom because we still had to sleep in the room and I didn't want to sleep in the spare bedroom. So I left the bed until the very last minute that I could just take it out and exchange it for the new bed frame that I built. If you guys missed the last two videos that I made, I did end up making my own bed frame and also my own side end tables. I will have both of those videos linked down in the description for you guys so if you want to take a look at those you are more than welcome to that way you may be inspired who knows to make your own furniture now that I finally have an empty room I'm able to go in and actually clean it so I am sweeping and mopping at the same time I actually really enjoy this sweep mop uh, vacuum that I just bought I bought it off of Amazon I will have a link in the description for you guys if you guys are interested um, I do make a small commission off of this link if you guys choose to uh, use the link that I provide for you guys and if you do then thank you so very much I absolutely love this vacuum it makes cleaning a lot easier i was eyeing the bissel but it's a lot more expensive and i didn't want to pay the price so this one is a little bit cheaper and it is well worth the money full disclaimer guys though i did pay for this vacuum myself it was purchased with my own money um, it's just something a product that i've really been enjoying and i really do love it so i figured i would suggest it to you guys if you guys you know are looking for something similar Yes, this is why I need a truck. Look at this. I really hope it makes it home safely because I just spent like 90 bucks on this thing. And I'm really hoping, like I said, I make it home safely without anything happening to it. I am scared. We'll see what happens. Thankfully the closet mirror doors made it safely and did not break on the way home. I actually made it home and I started prepping them because this specific um, mirror doors that I wanted only came in silver and I didn't think that it would match the room vibes that I had going on. So I ended up spray painting it white, uh, as you guys will see here.
all of the hardware is up and ready and done and all of the hard stuff that needed to be built is built I am ready to start actually decorating starting with some curtains and my end tables that I built If I don't have a link for a specific item that I purchased, you guys, I will have at least a description of where I got it from so that hopefully you guys can find something similar. I wasn't going to, which is the reason why I'm doing this last minute, but I decided for privacy reasons it'd probably be best if I added some blinds to the room. So just to refresh your memory of what this bedroom used to look like versus what it looks like now. take place because it's been something that I've been wanting to do for so long and I can't wait to start doing the rest of the rooms in this house and really start making this house feel more like a home but if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads with me um, you can find other videos just like this one in the future as well as other DIYs and woodwork videos or series thank you guys so very much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time bye, bye.